Uh, and the most obvious other word, other than do, is go. People doing things and going places. Well, both the word do and the word go are the exact same for the glory of God. Plus one in the front, followed by the famous O for the number three. I do, I go, I'm doing, I'm going, I'm doing good, it's going well. These are such favorites that God ordained them to be the, the two letters that go front and back in his personal name, God, when we talk to him in prayer. He likes hearing the word God. You just have to, you just have to understand that God's pleasure is maximum at all times. He obviously likes hearing the word God on the lips of children at night when they pray to him. He had to pick something that they would say to address him. Well, he ordained it to be God. <laughs> and then when you, and then so the G and the O are the two letters that make the famous word go. And they're also, the D and the O are the two letters that make the famous word do. I do, I go. It's the definition of humanity from the dawn of time. People going places, people doing things. Okay? And what a marvel that these are the two shortest words of all time, just like the word God, and it's the famous plus one in front, Seven and four are plus one over a multiple of three, and then O is fifteen, which divides by three. It's God's like favorite letter to glorify the number three. There you go. Do and go. Okay. And of course, dogs have traditionally been called man's best friend. <laughs> and you just have to marvel that God ordained the word dog, you know, to be the exact reverse of His name, God. Okay. You're just. That's the way it is. Obviously, God likes dogs quite a bit because there's so many of them. People have them for his pets, like more than any other animal. And, anyways, um, cat. I don't know. Okay, I'm not getting into that right now. I just want to solve the word go and the word do. And then there's another famous word that does the famous plus one. I'm picking all the. It's really easy. Walk through all the letters of the alphabet. Stop at all the plus ones and put them together with the famous O. So, that's one of my favorite words. It's also one of God's favorite words because it exemplifies it. It takes to the next level. Anything that you're saying about someone, oh God, you are so good. God is so good. Okay? God is so loving. God is so pure. God is so perfect. God is so powerful. God is so amazing. It's one of God's favorite words, this little word so. Well, it just shows you again that God's favorite letter is O for the famous number three. But this S is like a lead in. It's the plus one, plus one. All these letters are like do, go, and so. All the, they're all lead-ins for the number three, but they all scream out the number three perfectly, maximally, to the glory of the Trinity. Um, are there any other letters? You can go through all the plus ones, pairing them with the O, just to see if there's any others. A doesn't work. A O, do, which we got. Uh, e F G go. H I J Joe. Okay, not a whole lot. H I J G <laughs> G I Joe. No. J uh, K L M Mo. Well, there's a lot of words you can find after that. Mo, not really a word though. Uh, move, move, to go and to move, or to do and to move. I mean, doing something is to move. To go is to move. This is another obvious one because this is the gold train of threes off of a plus one entry. Move, the word move. Um, moo in general, like the cows. <laughs> Why does everyone love the old moo? <laughs> because it's pure O's following the, um, the plus one at the front. No. Moo. Okay. Um, there you go. So elemental. Um, P, P-O. P-O box. Post office box. Um, and post office drives me through. P-O. Elemental P, Q, R. S so T U V V O Vo Not a real big one. U V W X Y Yo Aha uh -huh, the yo yo. I knew we were getting to another one. So this is our last one, and this is very cool because the Y is the highest value plus one in the alphabet, and now you know why all the young people and everyone at any age love saying the word yo. Yo, man. Pure threes. Yo, I love you, man. That's what they're saying, really. Thanks for being in this world. Yo. Dude. <laughs> and even the word dude 
is pure threes because the famous u divides by three and then the de divides by three. So you've got 30 together, 21 plus nine. It's too obvious for the number three, and then the d is plus one. My name is Derek. No wonder I've loved the word dude my, soul, my whole life. My name Derek parallels the word dude mathematically for the number three. It's always for the number three, for the glory of God. Yo, dude, <laughs> you've just said two famous plus one with multiples of three following. The train here is 15, the train here is double 15, 30 for the number three. Yo, dude! 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 <laughs> um, and then, God really emphasized this yo, because we have the yo-yo. Like, it's one of the world's most famous toys. The yo-yo, and of course, it's shaped like an O. Yo-yo. Yo, man. Um, there you go. And the word cool, of course, every letter divides by three, starting with the letter C, which is three, okay? And then if you're really cool, you'll say Coolio. Remember when people used to say Coolio? Well, they're still saying Coolio because the I and the O also divide by three. So you can say cool or you can say Coolio and add more threes to the party. But every single letter in Coolio divides by three. By divine ordinance, to the glory of the triune God, who is love. God is three persons who are perfect in love. That's why you love hanging out with people. That's why you love being around others. That's why you enjoy other humans. And you also should enjoy God, okay? Um, because God is three persons in terf perfect relationship, in total harmony and unity and love. Man is made in God's image. That means man desires to be with other people. Hello, okay. And God ordained it that all the words that he speaks to us and all the words that he lets us speak to each other are all perfectly designed to glorify the number three so that God collects the glory for everything in world history using numbers. Amen. Yo. So. Go. Do. Just do it. Nike, one of my favorite, favorite slogans. So whether you do, go, say so, yo, <laughs> you're glorifying the triune God, the number three. And he insists that it be perfect in his mind at all times. Because he's listening to the people, he's listening to millions of people say the word dude, the word yo, the word so, the word go, the word, all these words, every single second. He's the guy that has to listen to it all. It better be mathematically pleasing to him. And surely it is. So, um, there you go. Perfect. We've just solved every five and nine and every dozen. And done. Oh, hallelujah.